Pratt & Lefevre Corporation has some unique ideas about business. And that's what we want to talk to you about today. The idea is you need to be organized properly. If you're not organized properly, you're going to miss out on a lot of opportunities. And a lot of people don't understand what it means to be organized properly. So we teach our clients, as you can see on the video, that business organization is key. And the key is to own nothing. I even tell clients that I don't even own the shirt I have on. I, uh, I told my wife the other day that if she kicked me out in the streets, I'd be bare naked. She said, oh, you'd scare the neighbors. I'll give your clothes back. But my wife doesn't own my clothes either. We have another organization that owns that, and we'll discuss that with you in just a second. But the idea is, is to own nothing. It's not owning an asset that makes you money. It's the control of the asset. Most entrepreneurs, when they build a, a business, they start with the roof first. They'll go to an attorney or to a CPA or to their uncle or to their brother and say, what should I do? And sometimes they don't even ask at all. They just think that they know enough that they can do it on their own. So what they do is to build, they'll go to the state and they'll file with the state to be a limited liability company or a sole proprietorship, or sometimes they won't even file it with that. That's like building a house from the roof down. You don't want to build a house from the roof down. You've got to have a structure. You've got to have a foundation. It's got to be solid. If you build a corporation, do you know how to act like a corporation? If you build an LLC, do you know how to act like an LLC? If you don't, you could get yourself in major problems. So what we try to do is to make sure that you build the barn correctly. Build your log cabin. Don't start with your mansion first. Start with your log cabin. Keep it simple. That's the things we want you to do is simplify it. Keep it simple. Now, the problem with owning a business and running a business is that you have to have advice from different sources. One of the sources is a CPA. And the CPA will say, from a tax point of view, this is my point of view. This is what you ought to do. And he's correct from that angle. Or you go to an attorney and the attorney will say, from my angle, this is what you ought to do. And that is correct. The problem is, is that the attorney and the CPA don't know what each other is doing. Even sometimes tax attorneys or business attorneys, I've got a, a brother-in-law that's a CPA and an attorney, and they don't always know how to put things together the way that we do. We do things just a little bit differently. Then one of the other walls that you have to have in your cabin is financial planning. You need to have an estate planner. What happens if something happens to you? Always ask that question. Why? What happens if? If you die, is somebody going to have to chair, uh, hire an attorney and pay a lot of money in order to be able to get the money that's due your family just because you passed away? You want a smooth transition. Then the fourth wall is the management side. You go to CFOs, you go to other managers, they have their own ideas. The trick is get all the walls to work together. So many views, so many opinions. Who's right? Well, actually, they are all right from their limited point of view. The idea is, is connect the walls. Get all of the four walls to be connected, to work together. So in our company, we have attorneys, CPAs, tax accountants, financial planners, um, CFOs, and a myriad of support staff. Those are the people that are there to work for you, to bring it together. And those are already there because they know what you're doing. They're there because they've been trained. They're the experts, and they're there for your benefit. You don't have to use them until you want to use them and until you need to use them. But they're there for you. They're your A-team. All entrepreneurs need an A-team, need to have somebody to fall back on. And that's what we want to do for you. Want to build your cabin before you build your mansion. Keep it simple. Now, the question is, how do you do that? How do you own nothing and control everything? Well, the answer to that is, is your structure. Your structure is completely the one part of your business that determines whether or not you're protected and determines how you're going to do your, your taxes. How are you going to pay your taxes? Is it going to be a lot? Is it going to be a little? 
Corporations are taxed different than LLCs. LLCs are taxed different than sole proprietorships. But you have to act like a business. You have to act like the business that you're in. What we want to do is to have you understand the difference between C corporations, S corporations, limited liability companies. What is the difference? And they're taxed differently. Use them to your advantage. General partnerships, limited partnerships, uh, sole proprietorships, and trusts. Those are all part of your organization, part of tools you can use to reduce taxes and protect yourself. But remember this, keep it simple. That's the, the uh, KISS principle. And I'm sure you understand what the KISS principle is, and I'm not going to say it because my wife doesn't like me to use that last word. So I have to keep it simple, whoever you are, right? But the other thing is, it's easy in, easy out. If something happens, make it easy to get in, make it easy to operate, make it simple to operate. But if you have to get out of it, if you're forced to get out of it, whether you want to or not, what happens to your assets? What happens to you? What happens to your business? And how many taxes do you have to pay? What are your expenses? One of the things we teach is what Laurel Langmeyer teaches. Most wealthy people don't go home at night and pay their bills. That's because they have a group of different types of organizations that pay it for them. What we want to do is to show you that if you're organized properly, you can have your business pay your house payment, your rent, your office, your utilities, your auto expenses, your interest. All of those things can be used for you. And in addition to that, you save money because of depreciation and in many cases, you don't have to be a W-2 employee. So let the business legally and ethically pay your expenses for you and you can do it. Now, if you protect yourself, it's like going out skiing. I'm a skier, but when I'm on the slopes, I'm not going to dress like I am today. This is what I want to protect, not that. So what I want to do is I want to wear several layers. I've got nice thermals next to myself. I've got jeans and shirt and socks. Over that, I've got a ski bib that's zipped up from toes to nose. And then on the over on the outside of that, I have a parka. And it's got a hood, goggles, mask, gloves. If you see me on the slopes, you really don't see me. All you see is what I want you to see. It's the same in business. You are organized in business to let the people see only what you want them to see. The outside layer is what builds the business, is what brings in the money. But the underneath layers are not seen publicly. They own the assets. So now, let's tell you one little end of the story here that you need to understand. There was an old farmer. This old farmer had a, a hand-me-down farm that was passed down from generation to generation. He had no posterity to leave it to. He tried to figure out what he was doing. Well, he, the problem of it is, is after he cleaned up everything to ready to sell, he found out he had an old donkey in a well. And the well was dry. What was he going to do? Couldn't figure it out until one day the donkey fell into the well and he said, great, I'm going to be satisfied with both problems at the same time. Called all of his neighbors in, handed them shovels, and they started throwing dirt, dirt in. Now, the donkey may have been old, but he wasn't stupid. He knew what was happening. Started to put up a real fuss. Well, after a little few minutes, he stopped. And the farmer said to himself, that, that can't be it. He can't be dead already. Looks in the well. When the people threw the dirt in, the donkey would just shake it off, step up. Another shovel, shape it off, and step up. Great. After two hours of that, donkey walked out of the well. Moral of the story, life's going to throw dirt on you. Just shake it off and step up. You're an entrepreneur. Plan well, work hard, and it'll all come right. But make sure that you're smart in your organization and your taxes.